Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Aries and it's to do with your money, your finance, your work, your career, my dear Aries. For September, a little bit over 2024. Welcome everyone. Thank you all for being here. Let us begin this reading to see what's going on in your work, in your career, your finances and everything about your money, my dear Aries. For September, a little bit over. We're going to start with two important messages. The first one being obstacles and challenges. The Five of Pentacles shows that you might be having some challenges trying to reach a certain goal. I'll investigate it and find out what that goal may be, what the, what the challenges are. And the next one, right, it says temptation. There's something that's tempting you, uh, which is not letting you perhaps reach a certain level, um, reaching your goals. There are, there are temptations. There's something that you're doing Maybe a little bit over the limit, excessively, uh, with the devil card, um, which you need to heal from this. Healing is needed with this one. So we'll find out more. Let me take two more messages for all Aries, Money, Work, Career, September. And we've got Renewal. There is a new lease of life. So whatever is stagnating now, once um, August is finished, uh, or was stagnating in August. In September, you will have renewal. I feel like you are going to be collaborating well. There's partnerships, there's working in teams, and uh, moving to a new lease of life, a new way of life. It's going to be spectacular. That is great to know. Next fall, Aries, money, work, career. What else is happening? Right, you are going to be empowered. Strong power is coming your way. I'd say from September to November, you will find a lot of power. Um, helping you move forward and you are going to move forward and be empowered this year the year of the dragon 2024 so power from september well we'll, we'll starts from september all the way to november and there is so much going on october is going to play a big role also in your life getting all these obstacles out of the way that's what i mean let's have a look at some more messages four messages from another deck we're going to take oh look at that the devil just jumped out have a look at that. Isn't that incredible? This shows there is something, my dear Aries, you've got to really be careful of, you need to heal from. There's something that's happening excessive, too much. Um, something taking, tempting you and you're codependent on it. You're taking, you're doing too much out of it and you've got to heal from it. You've got to heal from it so that it doesn't become an obstacle in your way and not let you move forward. That's incredible, right? For the devil to come up twice. Okay. We need three more messages for all Aries. The next one, it says you are going to rest from a battle, a major battle that you've been in, doing your best. The truth is going to release you, and finally you are going to have time out and healing. Healing is another one. If you haven't been feeling well with the Five of Pentacles, healing is coming your way. There is someone very strong behind you, supporting you, Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They are being very supportive. And... There is someone also that might have Virgo in them that's being supportive. This person, uh, this also the energy of Virgo, but it also means September. September, you are going to get all your answers, what you've been searching for, wondering how this is going to be. Is it going to work? What will it entail? What You know, this, this and that. All your answers are coming September. So September, wow, it's going to be a big, major. That's beautiful. Good to know. Now we're going to take three messages, three more messages all Aries to see the truth money work career and we've got you are thinking of relocating moving to another position to another place maybe where you're aiming to go to work your goal um, it is going to be moving you have to move home I feel like there is relocations for some of you it looks like the queen of cups twice there is someone very strong water energy very supportive this could be a parent figure could be a spouse it could be someone very supportive very helpful and um, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If you want to know more about this person, have a look at your reading, your general reading for Aries, and that will tell you who this water energy is and how they're impacting your life. I'm going to find out by clarifying it, but if you want to know which one, is it Scorpio, is it Cancer, is it Pisces, you'll, you can find out. The Page of Wands shows a new beginning that's going to be passion. You're going to have to be very excited. A lot of passion is coming very soon. Right. So something that's been procrastinating, and, you know, uh, hasn't been happening or you haven't been able to do because you don't want to leave someone behind. Maybe you're a bit reluctant leaving somebody behind, like the sworn energy maybe. I feel like that's going to be passing and you will be able to move on. 
maybe you're procrastinating, uh, not moving due to someone of water energy. You don't want to leave them behind. Let's see. We're going to take three messages for all. And I'm going to clarify all these um, for all Aries. So we've got three. We've got the first one, the spiral. It says things are going to go out of control, but you're climbing the ladder. That's the great news. Upward trend all the way. It shows some of you could be revisiting a job in regard to your career. Some of you are going through a lot of promotions. You will go through promotions and connections with the spiral. Connections. Let's take another one. Aries. Oh, there we go. We've got the skull and I'll take one more. And then we'll go through it together. Okay, so you are starting over. That's good news. Good to know. Starting over means that rebirth we were talking about, the renewal. I'll just bear with me. I'll just put this away so it doesn't fall. Right, um, here we got the skull. The skull shows there is a chapter ending. There may be a bit of rough patch. You might be borrowing money. You might be a bit low on cash. Maybe you've invested your money. But things are healing, that's for sure. There's a lot of healing going on. Uh, some of you might be considering working as a healer. Some of you might be considering working in hospice, which is, you know, for the terminally ill, where you take care of those who are really ill. It shows that there is careers in healing. You're reinventing yourself. Some of you are just leaving work and starting to think what career to do, putting an end to something and just, you know, thinking and thinking where to go, what to do from here, like, you know, giving yourself a chance. Like I said, because there is renewal in your life, you see that? This is all about renewal. With the golden eggs and renewal, this is like starting over, putting all your resources and starting fresh renewal which is really wonderful you are going to be empowered to do this renewal and it looks like some of you again could be working in healthcare there's there's situations with healthcare new um, opportunities are coming insurance healthcare hospice like we're talking about a few um a few situations with healthcare let's see what else you need to know before i clarify the cards we're going to take two messages from this deck for all aries so it says, even though you may be leaving a situation and going somewhere, one more, I'll just tell you, you don't have to be uh, worried or feeling as though you're going to be alone wherever you're going. If you have to move, especially if you have to move uh, for work, it says you are never alone. You are guided, supported, and there's a lot of healing coming your way. There's a lot of success coming your way, and there are partnerships coming along you won't be alone so that's one thing to know you're not going to be alone that's very important with the otter spirit now with the um dolphin spirit you will find out there's a lot of truths about things truth here and there this and that and that are going to be true so pay attention especially if you're collaborating with others and i'm going to take one more for all aries money world korea september and we have one more, and it says, see the bigger picture. So whatever is happening, uh, the renewal, whatever you're going through, it says, look at the bigger picture, and you'll understand why everything is happening. There are challenges you will overcome. You are reaching to high levels between September and November. They are going to be healers for you. September, November, remember that. That's great. Now, we're going to take two messages from this deck, and then I'll start clarifying everything for all Aries. Right, it says now, ascending the mountain, keep going forward, don't stop. Keep going forward. You are going to be finally reaching to this renewal. You are destined for a renewal of life. You can tell that with the golden nest, golden eggs, and the renewal here, the truth. Right, it says, a wondrous universe, walk in beauty. You will be walking happy. Things are going to be just so incredible for you. You are going to be amazed at what's coming. Absolutely amazed at what is the power that's going to be given to you. The glory that's coming your way, my dear Aries. This is just magnificent. So let's have a look at everything. Let's um, clarify everything so we can understand everything, what's going on. Starting with this Queen of Cups. Let's see who the Queen of Cups is. Who is this person that you might be, you know, this person might be someone that that you it might be someone that you might meet while you're traveling it could be someone that you're procrastinating and you don't want to leave this person behind due to work so let's have a look uh the queen of cups for all oh wow aries right it does show that you are feeling guilty leaving this person behind this water energy there's guilt there's fear maybe even for this water energy for this person you have got you have got anxiety sleepless nights there's a lot of worry you're going through a lot of worry 
let's have a look further as to why with the queen of cups what is the reason could be a child could be a parent could be someone that could be a relationship well it shows that there's an end of a chapter so you are going to be moving without a doubt but money there's going to be a lot of wealth coming your way money big time is coming this money perhaps is going to be the source of you uh, not worrying or it might give you comfort it might help you uh, find some sort of means to support this person but you are destined to live a life of wealth and luxury my dear Aries. So that's very interesting. Let's have a look at the two of wands. Let's see if you will travel, if you will move. You might be moving a distance. Yes, you are destined without a doubt. This is part of your destiny. Renewal has come up twice. You are going to see things clearly and you're moving. You're moving to a new lease of life, a new way of life. And nothing will stop you. Nothing. You are going. You are relentless. Nothing. And you are going to spiral up this is all great. Starting over, you're starting fresh somewhere else with the golden eggs. And I feel like with the spiral, things are just going to get better and better and better for you. Okay, I'll leave the spiral in this picture. I'll leave it. But I'll show you, like, this is a renewal of life, a new lease. Nothing can stop it from happening. You're, ha you're doing it. It's part of your destiny. It's destined for you. There's going to be a lot of healing. And a lot of compensation, a lot of healing. You are going to be loving it. You're going to be healing from this temptation, that's for sure. From this thing that's tempting you and you need to heal from it. Healing is coming. So yes, renewal of life. That's beautiful. Destined. It is destined. I'm going to take it out. This move is destined. You are leaving. Nothing can stop you. You're leaving. You're moving forward. Even though you might be procrastinating... You might be worried about someone, but ultimately this, this move is destined. You're going. That is amazing. That is truly amazing. And we're talking about this. Don't forget this. This is like the renewal of life and um, a new beginning. You are destined to go. You are destined to leave, to go to a new life. That's amazing. So they kept on saying that over and over and then finally got this. All right. And you are going to overcome all obstacles and you are going to have your, uh, your what's the word, your glory. Because I see the chariot here um, and it shows that you are going to have a great victory. Despite of what it looks like, you will have a great victory. Now let's have a look, my dear Aries, about the five of pentacles and these challenges. How will you overcome them? Right, well, there is a chapter of your life that's coming to an absolute end. Therefore, you're moving forward and justice is going to be all for you supporting you all the way justice there is someone could be someone that might be liberal with fire energy sagittarius aries leo also supporting you to be able to move to the next level that is possible let's have a look at the four of swords resting from something that's overwhelming it says a lot of money is coming and there is an air energy this air energy aquarius gemini libra could be supporting you uh, uh, unexpected money coming to you out of the blue out of nowhere money coming this is ground changing money. This is going to help you big time. I feel like you'll be able to move forward without hesitation with all this abundance that's coming your way. So it does show that there's big money without a doubt. Look at this. This is the wealth, the card of wealth. So you got the card of wealth and you got the other card of wealth. This is unexpected large money that changes lives. Ground changing money. And of course the spiral, it goes without saying. The spiral is about moving up. This is about out of things go out of control climbing up the ladder you're climbing up the ladder big time and the wheel of fortune is going to be on your side destiny bringing you this abundance that you might be destined for that you are destined for not might be you are destined for wow absolutely amazing so yes that's tremendous now let's move forward to the next level you are destined to rest from a, a very hard situation um, ending. There is a chapter ending. One chapter of your life is ending, that's for sure. Let's move on to the next level. Let's see who the Page of Wands is. Wow. This new beginning is going to help you overcome this problem with the devil. You see the devil, this codependency? Some of you might be feeling as though somebody's, you know, you might be codependent on someone of fire energy. There's fire energy here, without a doubt. Or somebody new might come in your life and over, you will overcome codependency or, you know, being tempted or doing something excessively. Maybe a new person comes in your life and this sort of gets healed. There's a lot of healing happening. Um, when I asked about this card, we got the devil. The devil shows codependency on something or someone. 
So um, I feel like this is going to heal because you've got the healing and you've got the destiny here, Wheel of Fortune, helping you heal from this overwhelming codependency, overwhelming excess, something you're doing too much of. It's going to heal. It's going to be um, removed from your life. You'll heal from this. So that's good to know. Very good to know. Okay, so this was the first card that came in regard to the, the page of... Um, it just jumped out. The page of wands. Let's see further. The page of wands for all Aries. Let's see who this fire energy is. Okay. It says there is going to be someone coming in your life. And this person has got fire energy in them. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So they've got fire. And there was before. There was something else before. Um, I think it was fire again. Fire energy. It looks like after an ending, you're moving to the next level. And you're transcending to high levels. There is a soulmate coming. Or a partner where you'll work together in teams. You will do exceptionally well with this person. And I feel like you are going to be leveling up to high levels. It could be a propose, proposal or a proposition uh, that you won't be able to say no to because you will find that there is certain comfort with this person that's offering you whatever they're offering you. Uh, you will be in team together, uh, working together, supporting. Uh, this person could be very supportive. That's, that's what I feel. So look at the bigger picture don't forget whatever happens let's have a look at the hermit for all aries and it looks like a great gift from the heavens and again we've got water energy this is amazing a great gift from the heavens and then we've got the water energy again that's that's bizarre let me take this to show you how many times that we got the devil three times and we got the queen of cups three times so the queen of cups it shows this could be a person really supporting you. This person could be someone that's um, that you're worried about, but maybe you won't need to worry in September. Something big is happening. There is a great gift from the heavens. It is connected to water, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be also connected to September, something happening in September, because I asked about the hermit, and I feel like maybe this person, this water energy is going to support you, understand all that you're searching for it might help you. This person might help you with all your answers. But certainly someone is becoming wonderful and being very supportive. And I feel like you are going to have fulfillment in everything you need to know. So a feeling entrapment, all that ends with this water energy. They are going to help you, support you, move forward. Finally, let's have a look at the devil. The devil you got three times also. Right, there is something conflicting or disagreements. It's all ending. This is coming to an end. This could be the reason that things are falling apart because there's a lot of conflict. You're starting fresh and starting big. This is the beginning of prosperity. A beautiful project begins and you are destined to be happy. Have a look at this. You are destined for a new beginning. You're destined for a renewal of life. You're destined to be exceptionally happy without a doubt. And you're destined for the Nine of Pentacles, a life of wealth and luxury. You are destined for that. My dear Aries, have a look at this. Absolutely. I do feel like the conflict that you are having could be with someone that's Virgo with Cancer, possibly, um, or it could be Virgo and Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like there is a conflict there, but that's going to end. You're going to start fresh and the Wheel of Fortune helps you move forward. You are going to live in luxury, wealth and abundance. And I feel like someone incredible is really supporting you. And I feel like that's someone is one of your soulmates. It could be um, someone that might have Libra in them, someone that might have Sagittarius in them, or Leo, possibly. My dear Aries, yeah, I really feel like there's a fire energy supporting you on a grand scale. And the conflict is going to be over very soon. You are destined for a lot of happiness and a great beginning and living a life of wealth and luxury. So... Even this uh, temptation and whatever you're going through, this is going to come to an end. This codependency is ending completely. Wow, that was very deep. Let's see what else. Is there anything else I left behind? The queen of... I'll just do the queen again to see who this queen is in case. Because I felt like I didn't do enough for the queen of cups. Since there's so much queen of cups, what is the queen of cups all about for Aries? Let's see. Queen of Cups for all Aries. Right. Now, see, this, this person saves you from the Queen of Cups. Or you could be dealing with someone. Uh, I feel like what happens is there is someone, Sagittarius here, very strong, or Leo, fire energy. I feel like there's abundance coming. 
Uh, it could be Aries like yourself, but I, I do feel like this, to be honest with you, I feel like maybe because of this fire energy, you, you're, um, you're able to move forward away from this water energy. I feel like this water energy is someone that might be, you might be conflicted with this person. There's disagreements, but I do see the sun shining in your path. And I feel like one person of fire energy is going to support you on a grand scale. This person could be Sagittarius or Leo. They're supporting you big time. I feel like there is going to be abundance of happiness coming your way. You've got these new beginnings coming all over the place, showing. You've got a lot of money coming. You've got fulfillment and happiness coming your way also. With um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the sun in your path, and the new beginnings, you can't go wrong. Everything is going to be going spectacular in your life. My dear Aries, this is just miraculous what I'm seeing for you. Absolutely miraculous. Believe me. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Please see the video till the end in support of me. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free and it does support me big time. I wish you a lot of love and light. And remember, wealth is coming on a grand scale and you are spiraling up with the destiny helping you to spiral and move forward and trend upwards. So you're transcending and changing your life to an incredible better life you're starting over a renewal of life that gives you a lot of happiness remember that with all these new aces and you'll never be alone so if you are leaving someone behind and you're concerned of being alone you won't be alone that's for sure a lot of love and light to all of you namaste